Hello there. Welcome to my channel. This is a show where I answer your deepest, darkest questions about Instagram Reels because I know a lot of us see this new feature and we're like, how the fuck did we use it? So in today's video, I'll be talking not only about why you should be using Instagram Reels, but how to use the platform and all the features. In addition, if you stay to the very end, I'll be even giving you guys some content ideas on what to post. So we're going over the why, we're going over the how and the what. If you want to know more, all you're going to do is keep on watching. If you guys don't know, Instagram Reels is a short form video feature where people can upload 15 second content to their feed. A lot of people can post comedy videos to skits to life hacks, just short form video content, very similar to the way TikTok works. Whenever you post an Instagram Reel, it will be shown to your followers, but also it will be publicized on the Explore page. And the Explore page on Instagram is where your content can get featured so new people can find your page. If you guys don't know, social media is my full time job. I weirdly make videos on the internet and somehow I'm able to pay lights because I do that. So I like posting on Instagram reels to not only just communicate with you guys and my audience, but I find it's a great way to monetize your brand. And I'll go into the later part of this video. I think the first question I get asked a lot is who is Instagram reels for? Honestly, guys, if you're any type of entrepreneur, content creator, influencer, I think you should be on Instagram reels. If you're trying to grow an audience online and you're just posting Instagram pictures with a caption, you're boring. boring. Okay, the future is 15 second video and it's exactly why so many creators are able to grow a massive audience just through TikTok. So I really think that there's a stronger connection when you create videos versus just a picture. So I just really believe in the power of video and Instagram Reels just happens to be a platform to upload that content. I think the next question I've been getting is what are the benefits of Instagram Reels? Like I mentioned, if you're trying to make money online, I think Instagram Reels is a great way to grow grow an audience, right? To get people to be aware of your brand. In addition, I think the power of Instagram Reels is you get suggested to people that you might not even know. I think the key thing with video is you can be kind of funny. So for example, I post a lot of videos on this channel about entrepreneurship content, but on my Instagram Reels, you guys can check it out here. I post a lot of skits and weird ass meme shit. And I think what happens is say I'm only attracting like this entrepreneurial audience, you know, with Instagram Reels and short form video content, I can attract a new pool of people to my page and that will allow people to discover me who might not even know entrepreneurship content. And if you're able to achieve a viewership, then you can get money through brand deals. All right, so now that you know the importance of Instagram Reels and what it is, let's talk about how to use a platform. I will be needing my phone for this part of the video. Yes. Oh, there we go. All right, let me show you guys a quick tour of Instagram Reels. Let's start out with an example of what the fuck a Reels even is. Most content is either entertainment based or educational. I'll give you an example of entertainment. I have this video where someone is roasting me and calling me a liar and a fake girl boss. But I reacted to it and this video has over 130,000 views. I also make educational content on it. So this video is me explaining a little bit about how to email a brand properly with a song. And this video has over 35,000 views. First of all, my account on Instagram has 50,000 followers and to get 133,000 views on a video is abnormal for Instagram. I feel like most of our engagement rate is like 5%, right? If you have a thousand followers, you can get 100 likes on a good day. Instagram Reels is one of the best ways to get more engagement because they're promoting your video for you because it's a new feature. All right, let's dive into how to use this platform. First step is to go on the homepage, swipe left. You're gonna have three options, live, story, and reels. Swipe, if you can hear construction in my house, I'm really sorry. Click on the reel. You wanna then click on the reels option. So the center button is where you can hold down and record a video. I'll show you right now. What's up guys? Yeah. So as you can see, that right there is the video and you can kind of add cuts when you let go of the clip it will stop the video recording so you can change to another shot. I can flip my camera and then record something here. And then if you put this arrow together, it can show you the two clips together. So Instagram makes it really easy to edit your own videos using the app itself. In addition to this, Instagram does give you music features. So you can add music to this clip. You can also slow it down if you want the speed to be slower. I like doing that for slow-mo content. You can add a filter to make your face all pretty. You can even add a timer. So if you wanna like put your camera up here and like run away 
away and like shoot something from far away. Like you can add a timer so you can be hands-free. And lastly, the last feature, which is probably the most confusing on this app is the align feature. A lot of people are confused what the frick this is. And the best way to describe it is when you're trying to transition between cuts and you want to be in the same frame, the align feature helps you just to transition a little bit better. So the best example of using the align feature is in this video where I was showing the outfits that I wear to my Zoom meetings. So when I was transitioning towards one dance move to the next in a different outfit, I used the align feature to make sure that I was landing in the same shot to the next one. So it just flowed better. So the align feature is great for transitions. All right, so now that you know all the features, you're like, cool, this is fun, but like, what the frick do I post? So this goes into my next question, which is content ideas for your first Instagram Reels. Guys, after this video, I'm gonna eat a fat chicken taco because I'm so hungry. If, you, if you're so far enjoying this video, please give this video a like. It does let me know that you enjoy this content and I'm experimenting with this like sit down format. So I hope you guys like it. I really think when it comes to getting content ideas on TikTok, it lands into two areas. You have educational content and entertainment content. For educational content, you can make content around the questions your community asks. So something you can ask yourself is what do people ask me and how can I turn it into a 15 second video? For example, if you're a fashionista on Instagram, you can create styling tip videos on Instagram Reels showcasing outfit ideas. You basically want to condense your idea into 15 second content. So one format that I like to do in educational sphere is literally putting a song and just pointing to the beat. We'll, we'll make one together. Like I mentioned, it's insanely fucking easy. I don't understand why people think it's so hard. Oh, and now that I think about it, that sounded really conceited and I don't wanna be called out for being super arrogant on knowing all the features because I'm Gen Z millennial, like, okay. So for the pointing educational content, I'm gonna use a song called Flex on the Gram, which is actually my song, funny enough. So what I'm gonna do for my brand is Instagram tips. I'm gonna give top three tips by pointing to a section on the screen every time there's a beat drop. And because I'm doing Instagram tips, I'm gonna put on the text, top three tips for growing on Instagram. On Reels, you can actually set a duration of your text. So for example, if you want the text to only be there for three seconds on the screen, you can move it around, cut it, and it will cut out when you end that time mark. I'm basically gonna add a piece of text every time I point so people can time it to the music. So I'm gonna put here, my number one tip is to post every day on Reels. I can make it smaller, and then again, add a duration to it so it only appears when I point. This is how it should look all together. Swipe up. Okay, yeah, that was that fucking rocked. So as you can see for educational content, it's really easy. <laughs> All you have to do is step one, think about the top three facts you want to explain in your industry. Step two is pick a song. I pick my own song, but you could pick any. And then step three is to just point to the screen and add text. This takes like five minutes. I actually have a whole worksheet on how to create educational content in a fun way for TikTok and Instagram Reels. I will link it below. All you have to do to get this worksheet is actually attend my green room event. I have a workshop where I teach all about Instagram and YouTube marketing. And I would love for you to come because in this workshop, I go more in depth on how to use each platform, how to create viral content. And I even have some guest speakers on the event to teach us more things. You guys can meet me one-on-one -on -one through a virtual Zoom call. So if you wanna sign up for that event and get more information of content ideas for the educational world, click the link in the description box. The tickets are $155, but if money's an issue, we also have a scholarship program where you can attend for free. Please come, I can't wait. All right, the second type of content I wanna talk about is entertainment. So for entertainment ideas, all I do is really just get inspiration from other meme accounts and just add my spin onto it. Let me give you an example. I was on TikTok the other day and I saw this trend about people saying you have to stop romanticizing something. I, it's really funny and I actually, I actually made like three different versions of the same trend because I thought it was so funny. Basically, I see a trend and then I was like, wait, that's kind of funny. I think this should be applied for the fact that I'm an influencer. I care a lot about my Instagram followers. I think it'd be really funny to say, you know, stop romanticizing about how many likes or views you get. So then this was the end result. You have to stop giving a shit about how many story views you get, no one cares, and we gotta stop letting number define our self-worth, okay? So, make content you like, that's all that matters. So, with that being said, I think it's really important to create entertainment-based content based on trends you see and just adding your spin onto it. If you're struggling to find a trend, just literally go on TikTok and scroll for two minutes and you'll start to see uh, popular audios and things and you can add your spin onto it. I think the key with Instagram Reels or TikTok marketing is you have to experiment. Like the thing with this platform is it's super easy to create a quick 15 second video. At this point, it's just all about taking risks and experimenting 
experimenting and stop being boring. Like it's okay to be weird on Instagram reels. I say a lot of weird things that I probably shouldn't say. Like I give dating advice in entrepreneurship. I spill the tea in my personal romantic life. And although it's weird and very, very niche, I think that's the power of short form video. It's a fun way to have a glimpse of someone's life that a picture just can't explain. If you're not having fun on Instagram reels and something is going wrong, because I think it's really important to showcase your personality on there. I think the key is just to be authentic. All right, so I had to move locations just because um, there was construction going in my house. I want to leave this video off with one last important note, which is the fact that I started this video off saying that Instagram reels is easy. It's not rocket science. <laughs> Creating a 15 second video isn't hard. Making content isn't hard. The hardest thing is being yourself. It's making content that you like versus trying to please other people. The hardest thing is being okay with your own self. I get a lot of questions of people asking Jade, what content should I make to get more views? And it's not about that. It's genuinely about what content do you like? If you like educational content, then make it. If you like entertainment content, then make that. Start with consuming what you want to make because only by doing that, you're really able to create authentic content and authenticity is what people like. I think Instagram Reels and TikTok is just so powerful is because it's the fastest way to understand a different culture, a different personality, a different perspective, and opinions are important. So if you fucking want to go on Instagram Reels and just rant, that's a part of the culture, you can do that. So with that being said, I think it's important to not complicate this Instagram Reels thing. Post content that you like, watch other creators, get inspiration. And when it comes to posting either educational or entertainment-based content, it's really just based on what you wanna fuck watch and what you want to fucking make. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you liked it and we'll cue the outro. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's little video about growing online using Instagram Reels. I personally have so much fun. I love showing this weird side of my life. So go check out my Instagram if you want to know more about my brand. I'm here to answer your questions. So go comment below if you have any questions. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. And just to recap, if you want to know more about what it means to create viral content and posting on Instagram Reels, I will be giving away content ideas, helping you one-on-one -on -one out in my workshop. So go sign up for it. It's in the description box and I can't wait to see you. I think we only have 25 tickets left. The event is on October 3rd, 10 a.m. Pacific time. I hope I could see some of you guys there and let me know if you guys want any other videos around Instagram Reels. I'm happy to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.